Xena Communications brings you this segment of the Sports Narrative Radio Show, offering customizable network cameras with installation for residential and commercial properties in the greater DFW area. Call or click today to set up your free consultation. Let's do some quick questions here. I think we can probably get this knocked out in five minutes before we do uh, the uh, pub, then switch Cowboys draft, and then the draft wrap-up. Is that okay? Yep, that'll work. Okay. What is the first round move that the rest of the the scouting world seems to agree with? Not talking about the Cowboys that you look at and say these people are crazy. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, I think the Paxton Lynch move for me is just curious. Uh, I, I don't know why everyone was losing their mind to trade up for this guy. He, he didn't seem that great, uh, all in all, and I would say. I mean, the most shocking move was the San Francisco 49ers trading back into the first round and then taking a guard. Now, granted, this does fall under the uh, the sports narrative blessing because this is Josh Garnett, who we have a liner from, Mr. Feldman. Yes, we do. Um, and he is a first round draft choice, Cannot which believe is insane. That. <laughs> Cannot, we, neither one of we've talked to. I mean, golly, why can't you believe it? It's your fa- it's your it's your savior, the genius Chip Kelly. Yeah. 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 Hey, Mr. you know Feldman. what? Hey, maybe he's re- he's figured out that I need guards now. I just won't let them all walk. No, I, I what I think is he got really confused and thought that he was still in charge of the Philadelphia Eagles draft for a second and was like, "God, we need an offensive lineman. Turn this card in." And it was like, "Oh, damn it. I got fired from that job." Yeah. yeah that wouldn't shock me either, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, yeah, just bizarre. Uh, that was that was a really bizarre move for me. The other one I think was Leonard Floyd. Leonard Floyd was the guy who he shot up draft boards. And in fact, when we do talk Cowboys a little later, uh, apparently the option for the Cowboys, uh, their their choices, of course, came down to Ramsey and Elliott. We'll detail that in a moment. Uh, but there was a lot of talk that they were going to trade down. And if they had traded down and, and Ramsey and Elliott had gone in the two picks that they were they were dropping, their backup option was Leonard Floyd. And I yeah. don't get it. This is very similar to and, – and the Bears ultimately traded up to nine to get him. And he's kind of like Shane McClellan, the guy they just got rid of, who was a first-round pretty much bust of a guy who was undersized. And you thought, oh, man, this guy's going to be a pass rusher and it's great. No, no, I, I don't see it. It's just kind of weird to me. But, uh, it, you know, for the most part, I, I, it was a bizarre draft because all the running backs fell until we had three running backs go in the first three rounds. And most of them fell into round five and six. All of these guys we were talking up in the second and third round and whether the yeah. one would be there for the Cowboys. Quarterbacks fell precipitously. Um, Mr. Feltman, you will remember – and this is something that I learned through this process, is that there were a lot of guys who I had initial grades on of, you know, a guy like Dak Prescott, who I had, you know, well, he's developmental, he's kind of a better version of Tim Tebow. Right. And then I spend this entire draft process listening to people telling me, oh, no, 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 he's going to be amazing, and he could go in the late first round or the second round, <laughs> and he's just this great guy, and I'm like, Really? Because I don't see it, but okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it. And well, I, I start moving him up my the, board. At the Senior Bowl, man, it's people only compare against this year, it seems like. They have no memory or comparability versus, you know, just just because Jared Goff's the best guy available in this draft doesn't make him a number one overall worthy selection, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and the need is a, a factor, and... And we'll get into all that when we do our, our do final look in. Quick question. But it was before we move I was oh, just a second. Let me, let me just say the I will say though the funny thing is then Dak Prescott gets picked and all the analysts are like, "Hey, he's a better version of Tim Tebow." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> They're stealing so your line. Next year, I'm just not going to listen to anyone. There so you there you that's, go. All right, that's, that's a good Next way question. to do it. Well, I just had a quick question. Eric Stryker is another guy who we spoke to at the uh, the Senior Bowl. He did not get drafted. He's currently not signed. Uh, name me where's where do you think he's going to go? And then what of the undrafted free agents are 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 still out there that you think actually could make an impact on an NFL team? Oh, uh, you know that's interesting. I, I think. Um, there is, uh, I was actually trying to see if Stryker had signed anywhere yet. 
Um, Which, by the way, I don't know why anyone hasn't signed him. If you guys haven't seen the the video, I think it was right before the draft coverage signed off on ESPN. Uh, they had Stryker addressing his family and friends that were there. Uh, and, I mean, I was just sitting there going, man, if you have any questions about someone whose character you want, similar to a guy that I know we're rooting for, Emmanuel Graves, yes. uh, from the Colorado School of Mines, who we interviewed on the show. You guys interviewed. I've I, Killing myself for missing that Gosh, particular you week. A great I know. Interview. I know. I've been. I mean, I've been. Insta- I've been messaging him back and forth yeah, a couple of times. Wow. I mean, he, dude's just amazing. Yeah, he is. Uh, and our fingers crossed there. But again, I, I just give these two guys a shot, and I think you will be well rewarded. Yeah. I mean, you got yeah. By players. the way, he he has signed. He is a Buffalo Bill. So oh, okay. adding to the the great Bill, yeah. uh, great uh, draft of the you know Buffalo what? No, Bills. That, that, again, they did a great job. Uh, real quick, I had one more. I can't find the article, but I'm going to test you and see if you know everybody that was drafted. In All right. the sixth round, the Baltimore Ravens selected a quarterback from Navy? Uh, yes, Keenan Robinson. Wow. All right. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keenan Robinson, I have it. Is a running back from Navy. Or is he yes, a quarterback who's now a running back? He, he played quarterback there, but obviously they run the crazy option. They run so the crazy be... triple option. So he ran. Right, so he was the quarterback, but he's also. He's slash. NFL.com already says you're a running back. Yeah, you, sir, are a running well, back. Well, they've told him that, that yeah, they're, they're, he's going to be a kick return specialist in the NFL, right? But he scored like 144 touchdowns or something in his career. Right. I mean, it's just a. Wow. The guy was apparently some kind of insane, and the reason that this caught my eye and I wanted to ask you about him is they said they kept him quiet. Like, they knew they wanted this guy, but they didn't say anything. They didn't want to talk him up. They didn't really do a big job as far as, like, you know, getting info out or even even reaching out because they saw him. He's an interesting prospect. You've, you've seen guys like this in the past where, you know, they, they're uh, the, the guy, uh, Shoelace, down in Jacksonville, who was a quarterback at Michigan, um, who then switched to running back wide receiver. Now he's much smaller, so um, I think I think I think this kid has a chance to be a very uh, very interesting if he can, uh, you know, they, they can find different ways of using him. Uh, you know, Braxton Miller uh, got drafted, and he's down there with the Houston Texans now, uh, and it's a guy who, and you saw up close, Mr. Feldman, is where. You know, kick returner, can run the ball, uh, still needs work as a wide receiver, but you get the ball in his hands and he does dynamic things. And so uh, I, I think the Ravens will use him in that way, and, and I think he could be successful there. Yeah, he sounds like he's going to be pretty interesting to watch. Find more by subscribing to this channel and visiting us at www.thesportsnarrative.com. Join us every Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Central for a live edition of the Sports Narrative Show, brought to you by Zena Communications and g Services.